G'day everyone. As everyone knows, when it comes to writing good application code, one of the important things is really good documentation, either in line with the code itself or in some mechanism supporting the code. But we want good commentary around our code to help the next person that comes along to understand what our code is meant to do. Funnily enough, that sometimes that doesn't translate into the database, and it should. We've always had the ability to put documentation and commentary around our database objects. For example, let's say I'm creating a person table. So create a table called person. It's got the kind of normal stuff we'd expect to see in a person table. I've got a uh, PID, a primary key. I've got a first name. I've got a last name. I've got a mobile number, a date of birth, credit card, and email. Now, even in a simple example like this, we can immediately see that there's probably some information in there that we would consider probably pretty sensitive. What I would like to do is put some information into the database to let the next developer coming along know that, well, some of these data types and columns probably need to be treated very carefully in terms of what we might expose out to the rest of the world. And there's other information that's just going to make life easier for the next developer. So how have we done that in the past? What we've done is we've used what we call database comments. Let's throw in some comments and see how it would look typically in an Oracle database. So I can put a comment on the person table at the table level. It's saying that this is obviously you know, a list of people in the company, for example. And then I can put comments also at the column level. So for the person ID, I'm saying that's going to be the primary key. Um, for the first name, I might have some information saying we should probably be storing this in uppercase, similarly for the last name as well. For the mobile number, there might be some rules as to whether we show that. They might have you know, chosen to opt in or opt out of marketing you know, communications things like their birth date, maybe we should redact that or maybe part of it. Uh, then we've got the credit card details. Obviously, like all credit card information we normally see on the internet, we would never show that in the entirety. And then we've got things like their email address as well. And we might redact that in the typical way where we just redact the part in front of the domain. All this kind of stuff is good information to help people build applications against your database. It's really good stuff. Comments have been in there since way back since Oracle 6, maybe even earlier. I strongly recommend you use commentary in your Oracle database. It's one of those things that seems to go by the wayside when we're designing databases nowadays. Comments are all well and good, but as the name suggests, they are just free text. So while that's really good information to have there, maybe we want something a little bit more robust, something with a bit more rigor, because if we're gonna put vital information into the data dictionary to help developers, well, as we know, the modern developer might be using AI or similar tools to help generate their code. And it would be cool if we have automation which lets us look at the data dictionary to come up with maybe some facilities which automatically generate the right code based on some rules we put in the data dictionary. And for that, Oracle Database 23 AI has a facility called Annotations. They're very similar to comments, except they're just a little bit more well structured. Let me show you some examples. So I'll alter my person table and I'll modify each column now to add some annotations. For the PID, I'll say, yes, this is a primary key. It's going to be populated with a sequence. And I'm saying I will never display it. And this gives you an idea of what annotations are. They can either be just key values, so in this case, primary key or a sequence, or they can be key value pairs. In this case, display is never. They're the two options you have when it comes to annotations. And I can continue on with the rest of my columns. For the first name, I'll say, yes, uh, it's going to be in uppercase and UTF-8. I'll do the same thing for the last name. And for the credit card, I might say, look, this is in very sensitive data. It should never be shown, for example. And then I've got things like the email address. I've said, yep, that's a sensitive data as well, and so forth. None of these are predefined or reserved words, the things like display only or sensitive. These are purely terms of my own imagination that are going to be useful for me when I'm building applications and helping the next people come along. So you can come up with your own naming systems. It's simply a way of having a little bit more structure to the information you want to provide to the data dictionary to help the next people coming along, even if those people happen to be automated tools. Just like data dictionary comments, you can also apply these annotations at the table level. So I've said this case, the person table is part of my organization, say that the subset of my overall database schema design. And I've said maybe full copy. That might mean when I copy this table from production to say development or test, I don't copy a subset, I copy the entire thing. Because we do have that additional structure now to annotations that are stored in the data dictionary, 
I can do sort of more intelligent modification of them. So for example, here I can choose the email address and I can add another annotation to the ones we've already added to it, saying, yep, this case, I'm gonna add a display annotation and yes, we want to redact it partially, something that our tools might use. And the cool thing there is if I then modify it again and try add another occurrence of the display attribute, I get an error. It's telling me that the display attribute is duplicated now. So rather than a comment just being free text, we have a bit more structure and rigor to the information that we're storing on columns and tables alike. And as I said, because we may have at some stage in the future automated tools that want to access this annotation information in order to build screens, build rules around our data, then we've stored this information in the data dictionary. You can go digging into user annotations usage and get all the information you need about the annotations you've stored. So annotations is a cool feature in Oracle Database 23 AI. It lets you have a bit more rigor, a bit more structure to the information you want to store in your database schema about the tables and columns to help both tools and the next person maintaining your code. Enjoy. Enjoy.